Hello fellow Linux gamers, today I'm reviewing Skullgirls. Skullgirls is an indie 2D fighting game originally developed by Reverge Games, but it's now developed by Lab Zero Games. Once every seven years, the artifact known as Skullheart grants one woman's wish. However, if one with an impure soul attempts to use Skullheart, her wish will be corrupted and she will transform into a monster known as the Skullgirl. A new Skullgirl named Marie has emerged and is terrorizing Canopy Kingdom. In story mode, you progress through a chosen fighter's campaign, eventually confronting Marie and claiming the Skull Heart. Each character has their own motive for seeking the Skull Heart. Some wish to destroy it, and others to use it for their own interests. Skull Girls originally had only eight playable characters. However, after a successful Indiegogo campaign, Lab Zero Games added five additional characters to the roster as downloadable content. And on April 1st, 2015, Lab Zero Games added Fukua, a clone of Philia. The character was intended to be removed after April Fool's Day, however she stayed due to positive feedback in the community. This brings the character roster to a total of 14 playable characters, which is significantly smaller than most AAA fighting games. As an example, Ultra Street Fighter 4 has 44 playable characters. That being said, I think Skullgirl's limited roster is actually a positive in a way. A smaller roster is easier for the developers to keep balanced. Learning how every character plays is essential to improving your skills, and because the roster is smaller, this is a less daunting task than in games like Marvel vs. Capcom 3, for example. Speaking of Marvel vs. Capcom, Skullgirls draws most of its inspiration from Marvel vs. Capcom 2, incorporating several mechanics, such as its tag team-based combat and character assists. Skullgirls also improves upon Marvel vs. Capcom 2's mechanics by providing additional features. For example, Skullgirls has infinite combo detection, giving the player the ability to break out of an infinite combo if the game detects one. If all this sounds confusing, don't worry, Skullgirls offers a tutorial mode, which, in my opinion, is the best tutorial in any fighting game I've ever used. Not only does it tell you the basics, like which button does what, but it also tells you about the metagame and useful strategies that can be applied to any fighting game. Skullgirls does some unique things, like the ability to choose between different ratios of characters. You can choose to have three characters on your team, or fewer. The fewer characters you choose on your team, the stronger your team will become, with increases to maximum health and damage output. However, a larger person team has more assist options and are able to tag out characters for health recovery. You can also input your own assist attacks for each character, instead of choosing from a list of assists for that character. All artwork and animations are hand-drawn and look fantastic. Creative director and lead artist Alex Aha did a fantastic job. There's a video where he reveals his secrets and I highly recommend it if you're interested in how it's done. On April 5th, 2011, he also did a blog post titled Skullgirl's Artistic Origins where he discusses the inspiration for his art style. Another thing worth checking out if you're interested. Skullgirl's soundtrack is also great, featuring music performed by Michiru Yamane, who is best known for her work with Castlevania, Vincent Diamante, Blaine McGurdy, and Brenton Kosak. Skullgirl's uses GGPO for its online play, and I find that it works well when I can find a local match. More often than not, I cannot find an opponent in my region. The only time I'm able to play a match is if I search for players outside of my region. And of course, this means a match with high ping resulting in lag. And even searching in any region, I find it difficult to find players that are my skill level. The matches I find are usually with much higher skilled players, resulting in me getting absolutely destroyed. There is a Steam group dedicated to hosting regular events for beginning players to get together and get good, so there is some involvement from the community. In conclusion, Lab Zero Games did an excellent job with Skullgirls, and I recommend this game for anyone who's a fan of fighting games or just looking to start. Thank you for watching my review. This has been Ghost Squad 57, signing out.